Hello, my name is Tyler Beatty, and I am doing my language arts book project on the first book of the Beyonders by Brandon Mole. Awesome book! It starts off with a boy named Jason. Pretty average life, sort of like me. I relate to him. He goes to school, and uh, he works at a zoo. Okay, what do I say now? He goes, after baseball practice, to the zoo to do his work, and he hears strange noises coming from the hippo tank. So he leans over to get a look at it, and... He falls into the rail, and the hippo opens his mouth really wide, and he goes straight into it. And he goes down this big long tunnel inside the hippo, comes out at the base of a tree. Jason then goes to the Respiratory of Learning, where he meets an old man who helps him out, and eventually shows him this book, Bound in Skin, that tells him of a word that will destroy the evil emperor, Maldor. And the word is six syllables long, and it tells him the first syllable is uh. I'm rambling. <laughs> The old guy then sends him off on his quest to the castle. He meets Rachel, who is also a beyonder, as they call them. And she also came from Earth, except the way she got there was she walked through a stone arch in uh, Arches National Park, which is near here. So Jason wanders around and finds the castle and meets the blind king, who tells him about Maldor and all the evil things he's done, and sends him on a quest to find the rest of the other five syllables of the word. I'm rambling. So the first syllable, f he finds he has to go off of this huge cliff and jump off of it into the huge waters and go up a tunnel. And this uh, guy, pretty big guy, who's been drinking water and eating seaweed in this cave, tells him the second syllable. Another syllable he has to find is inscribed on the inside this huge castle inside their big vault. And it's inscribed, it's like the fourth letter on this inscription on there. And so he goes into this castle, gets money, becomes well-known, and then he challenges the king of that castle. And um, it's a challenge of knowledge, and eventually he beats him. Swing better! And becomes the king. And then he finds the word, and then gets on a chariot and leaves. Best part, that's actually near the end of the book, but that's okay. Another syllable, he has to go through a big swampy land. Swampy! With another person he found. They have to travel on boat over the water, and there's creatures everywhere, giant man-eating frogs. And eventually they find this huge tree with, where the pythonis lives, and they go inside the tree, and um, after a bunch of things happen, they find the word. In the end, Jason finds all six syllables and the whole word, which is a rimfex endropus. And he gets in council with the evil emperor, and he says the word out loud, and when he says it out loud, he erases it from his memory. And the emperor just starts laughing, and then he tells them that the word was a hoax, and that it's just to distract his greatest enemies so that they try to find the word and they don't battle him. Two more things I need to say. This was an awesome book, and I'm really excited to get on to the second one. There's currently three books. My name is Tyler Beatty. I dig chicks.